Welcome to Wellness Through Physical Therapy. We are here at the Physical Therapy and Balance Centers in the Churchill Mall in Hazleton. With me is Ting O. And Ting, you're going to give us a topic tonight that is really hitting home throughout mm -hmm. our entire area. Yep. So many people affected by opioids. Yes. And one of the biggest ways that people become affected by opioids is through pain. Right. Now, we're here. Yep. You're the man to tell us mm -hmm. what happens when someone right. takes too many opioids. Well, first of all, you have to understand um, the, the, the reasoning behind people taking opioids. Um, we've really become a society of, uh, you know, when something goes wrong with you, and I do this myself sometimes, uh, the first thing you ask is, what can I take for that? Right. So obviously, when you have pain, um, the answer to that question would be pain pills. So we've become a society where if someone gets in pain, they get prescribed pain pills. Immediately. So, right. yeah, so that's, um, that's something, however, that's um, obviously um, been overdone in the United States. Um, the U.S. has around about 5% of the world's population. And depending on which study you, you listen to, between th uh, 30 to 80 percent of the world's opioids are taken in the United States. Wow. So that's, that's a huge number. Um, so obviously, uh, we all know about the problems it's causing. Uh, people are getting addicted. People are dying from it. So um, one of the, the uh, things that the government is looking at, including the CDC, is changing the regulations of opioid prescription, which they're starting to do and um, trying to figure out other ways of controlling pain aside from opioids. And then based off that, um, some of the old, other alternatives that are out there to help treat people in pain, especially people with chronic pain. Because mm -hmm. there's uh, like 10 million people in the United States with chronic pain. And just to tell them to you know, completely skip opioids, that's not, not going to be very feasible for most people. That would probably work in the opposite. Yes, yeah, so yeah, I think most people would worse. be like, what right. are you talking about? So, um, one of the things we want to educate people on is, is some of the alternatives. Um, so there, there are a lot of ways that you can manage pain aside from taking pain pills. A lot of natural ways, and the CDC has come up with uh, like certain recommendations of when to prescribe opioids, uh, when not to prescribe opioids, and the alternatives for people to try before they try taking opioids. One of the things that you mentioned to me was exercise mm -hmm. can actually be better mm -hmm. for, for alleviating pain than opioids? Yeah, well, a lot of the research behind chronic pain especially shows that um, opioids really doesn't help after a certain amount of time. Right. So there is a lot of controversy behind it um, because a lot of people are like, you know what, I, I want the pain pills. But um, most of the research for people in chronic pain is, is um, it's kind of all over the place, but one thing that really stands out that most of the research follows, and if you talk to most people about people in pain, it's the general consensus, and uh, this is where everyone comes together, that everyone believes that exercise long-term is the best thing for people to manage chronic pain. All right, well, we are going to talk more about this with Ting O here at Physical Therapy and Balance Centers when we come back with Wellness Through Physical Therapy. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Minutes away. That's right, you're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barber Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 25 minutes from Frackville, 26 minutes from Jim Thorpe, 28 minutes from Tamaqua, 20 minutes from Shavertown, and 28 minutes from Clark Summit. Barber Ford in Exeter and Hazleton. Online at barberautogroup.com, where nobody but nobody sells for less. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor, and private parties. Call 570-384-2314.
Tune in each week to WYLN TV 35 to watch the number one Hazleton-based broadcast television talk show, The Storm, hosted by Tiffany Cloud. Candidates, politicians, community leaders, and more appear on The Storm when they want to be heard. New shows air Wednesdays at 8 p.m. and these additional airtimes only on WYLN TV 35. We're your local network. Welcome back to Wellness Through Physical Therapy. I'm Paula Degnan with Tingo at Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. And we're talking today about opioids mm -hmm. and just the mere word sends shivers down people's spines right, because right. what you can't it's sometimes you can't live with them but then you can't live without them right now in the when we first started ting you started to tell us about how exercise mm -hmm. can actually be more beneficial right than relieving pain than than medicine right but mm -hmm. Anybody who's watching this is going to say, I can't exercise because I hurt. Right. So how do you answer that? Well, uh, pain, pain is a very complex thing. Um, you, you have to really understand what pain is. And uh, that's, there's, over the last 10 years, we've learned more about pain than ever in the history of uh, humankind. And uh, they found that pain is, is really multifactorial. So um, if you look at the, the, the CDC recommendations for managing chronic pain, uh, the things they recommend is one, um, to lose weight. So if you're overweight, that's going to put more stress on your body, which can lead to chronic pain. Um, two, they recommend cognitive behavioral therapy. And one thing that we um, are just starting to understand, we're learning more about this, is there is a, a, a central aspect, and central I'm meaning the brain, that does, involve, that does uh, get involved in pain production. So pain basically is your brain's um, interpretation of the pain of the signals that you're getting from your body. So let's say, for example, you've seen kids where they've uh, they're running around, they've fallen over, and then you know they get up, they laugh until they look down, and they may be bleeding, and then they'll start really hurting. <laughs> or until hurting. mom yeah. says, "Oh yeah, no!" Yeah. So there is, there is a relativity to pain, and we're finding out there's a concept called central sensitization, where the brain becomes sensitized to pain signals. Okay, so um, they've done studies where they've shown like a, a, a paper cut is a lot more painful to a concert ballerina, a concert pianist versus a ballerina. Probably because the concert pianist uses their hands all day and that signal of pain or that paper cut is more of a sensitivity to that pianist because they use their hands all day versus a ballerina who doesn't. So now are you telling me that it's mind over matter? It's not. Uh, pains are very real, but there is a central sensitization that can happen with pain. So it's kind of like um, we are winding up the system of the brain. So the more, you pro the, more the pro brain processes uh, pain signals, the more it's going to become sensitized to the point where a smaller signal is going to create a pain signal to that person. Okay, so understanding that is extremely important to understanding what may possibly help with it. Wow. So once you once you realize that, um, and, and then the thing is uh, that there's a big stigma about you know, is it in my brain? Right. Which right. you know we're not saying that. Right. Um, but to understand that there is a central aspect to pain, which can be helped if you try and reverse some of those pain signals to the brain to desensitize it. Okay, which is where the exercise and other stuff comes in. So looking at the CDC recommendations, again, they look at uh, cognitive behavioral therapy. And we, we're not telling people they're nuts. It's no. just that there, there is a... There is, <laughs> there, a there is something yeah. going on. Yeah, there is a central <laughs> component to it. Um, three, they did recommend physical therapies. And four, they recommended exercise, um, which is one of the key components. So if you think about the pain signal again, um, let's say you have an area, let's say your knee, that mm -hmm. if you injured your knee, and your knee was constantly sending pain signals to your brain. Okay, your brain is gonna become sensitized to that so that after a while, maybe three to six months of constant pain, that signal is no longer going to be just a, a signal, um, but maybe just a touch. And for the people with chronic uh, pain out there who know this, just a touch is gonna to be enough to send that pain signal to the brain. Right. So what you want to try and do is you want to try and desensitize the brain by trying to recreate normal movements so that um, that 
that um, that signal that's kind of getting mixed up in the process is no longer getting mixed up. So would it also go with um, arthritis? Like, you know, you mentioned injury, mm -hmm. but a lot of people, as we get older, yep. we're not used to, oh, I got out of bed this morning and yeah. boy, that really hurt. Right. So sometimes you you don't even know what causes the right. pain. Yeah, exactly. And there's... um. There are there is a lot more research going in these days about uh, perception of pain as well. If you think it's going to hurt, it's probably going to hurt. Wow. Um, so if you wake up and you think, "Oh, my back's really sore," or "My back's going to be sore," there's a chance that it might be that way. Because I lifted that box the right, wrong way. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, <laughs> what we're trying to do in physical therapy, let's say you have a, an injured knee and you wake up and you're like, "Ooh, that hurts." Um, we're trying to recreate those. Uh, well, we're trying to create a pain-free environment. Of movement so that um, what we're trying to do is have you move pain free so that you are now sending signals to your brain opposite to the painful signal okay. and that is the key to try and bombard the brain with comfort signals and this way the brain will desensitize and not be so wound up it's almost like comfort food basically <laughs> yeah, um, basically when um, you think about yeah, it like so that. We're, yeah yeah well, the, the key of physical therapy um, because like you said when people when we tell people the exercise like oh no oh, that's no, going to hurt it's going to uh, hurt <laughs> so the the thing that we do in physical therapy which we believe that we're pretty decent at is to help reduce someone's pain so for example um, you have back pain which is one of the more prominent mm -hmm. uh, chronic pains that we deal with. Um, when you come into us with chronic pain, back pain, and for the people with back pain out there, you know that when you're moving with back pain, you're kind of like hobbling, oh, yeah. um, limping, all that type of stuff. So the, the key is what we try and do is to try and use techniques that we utilize, and we'll show some of that later, mm -hmm. um, to help reduce the pain. Um, and then when the pain is reduced, we'll help take people through some movement patterns through exercise, whether it be on a treadmill, whether it be doing stretches, uh, whether it be doing strengthening. And this way we help encourage that person to move through their normal patterns with uh, less pain. This way it's providing signals to the brain of normal signals and hopefully that can help desensitize pain. Well, so let's move on to that mm -hmm. because I think a lot of people are dying to find out exactly what you're talking about mm -hmm. where you can actually do things yep that you would avoid, right. but not have any pain with them. Right. So we're going to do that. We'll show you some of the actual examples when we return on wellness through physical therapy with Physical Therapy and Balance Centers in just a moment. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Ralph M. Cameron, specializing in quality and affordable construction services for residential, commercial, and industrial. Licensed and insured. Call 570-401-0654 today for all your construction needs. Hi, I'm Isabella Falvello. Join me for a wonderful new cooking series, Chow Bella, featured here on WYLN TV 35. I was addicted to heroin and crack. My choice was alcohol. I used anything that I could get my hands on. You know me. I'm the Addiction Network. Over one and a half million people have called for help. So why haven't you called? What are you waiting for? This year alone, one million people will die from drugs or alcohol. Addiction is a disease. Don't kid yourself. You can't beat it alone. Call now. The Addiction Network is here to take your call 24 hours a day. The call and consultation are free, but your time is running out. Don't wait until you lose your job, or even worse, lose your life. Don't wait until you're put in jail. Don't wait until your child dies. Call the Addiction Network now. I lost everything, and the only way to get my life back was to pick up the phone and call and go to treatment. Call 800-657-8879. That's 800-657-8879. 
something is out there. What it is, no one knows. However, since its first sighting, there have been numerous reports of strange lights in the night sky. Some say they are extraterrestrials, flying saucers. But, to all of those seemingly unrelated uncertainties there is one common thread. Watch Solo Spaceman on WYLN TV 35, Thursdays at 11, Saturdays at 4, and Sundays at 9. Boyer Insurance Agency, 78 Sugarloaf Avenue in Sugarloaf. Quality coverage, competitive rates, discounts, recreational vehicles, boats, campers, and motorcycles. Find the coverage you want at the right price. Call them at 570-788-3543. Attention area residents, the winter sports season is going on now. Show your support for local student athletes. Attend a live sporting event in your area. WILN, we're your local network. Welcome back to Wellness Through Physical Therapy. We're here with Ting Au at the Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. And Ting, we've been talking about opioids uh -huh. and I just can't get over the fact that you're going to tell us exercise mm -hmm. is good yep. in order to alleviate pain in the body. Right. But people right now are saying, I can't exercise. You get into that whole, that whole vicious circle. Right. But actually what you're going to show us right now is what you would do, mm -hmm. and we're, we're concentrating on the back. Yes, uh, chronic pain happens a lot in the back. So for the chronic pain sufferers out there, I don't know the exact percentages, but um, um, a lot of it is focused on the back. So I'll show a quick, uh, like a quick little treatment that we would possibly do for someone with chronic pain before they, they got into an exercise program. Okay, okay. one of the things we use, uh, because we believe in using all um, aspects of healing, so we use um, like creams a lot, pain relieving creams, and physical actually has a pain relieving cream. Um, it's focused, it's based on a capsaicin, which has been found to be very good for nerve pains. So we use that a lot. And to um, get it into the, the body, um, we use an applicator, or uh, the traditional Chinese uh, practitioners call it gua sha. And uh, it's been found to be very good, again, at uh, loosening tightnesses in the body. So Now, you said this is before you would exercise. Would you this do this is, every time? Yes. Uh, oh, okay. So if someone has pain, we want to reduce it so that they can move without pain. Because, um, like I said, we want the brain to receive signals of movement with, without pain. So what this does is it kind of, uh, for the people that have been watching the show, they know a little bit about fascia by now. Right. Um, it's, uh, it's a case of what we're doing is we're trying to loosen the fascia or the, the superficial layers in the tissue. And this is really good at helping um, release the tissue. One, we're using a mechanical process of releasing the fascia. And two, with the creams and the capsaicin, we're using a, a chemical process of eating up the inflammation and helping the nerve signals quieten down. So if you didn't do this mm -hmm. before you started to exercise mm -hmm. and you had pain, yep. would that hinder your <clears throat> exercise? Poss possibility. The, for the, the most of what we understand about pain signals this, these days is, again, like I said, if, the, if you get constant pain signals bombarding your brain, it's going to sensitize it. So the more you sensitize that brain, the less of a signal it's going to take for you to get a pain signal. Okay. So what we're trying to do is to reduce the pain so that you can move without pain. And if you move without pain, it's going to send less pain signals to your brain. And it's, this, it's what's in this that is also making the difference as well. Because yes. there's, there's a lot of things that, uh, that you can use with... Uh, menthol and yep. mentholatum and yep. uh, what about those um yeah any basically anything that helps reduce your pain signal is good okay and so there's a lot of um there's a lot of good creams out there um, we believe here in capsaicin because that's one that's the research has found to be very good for nerve pains mm -hmm. so we use a lot of capsaicin and capsaicin is um, is a heating effect as well most people feel good with hot packs when they're in chronic pain mm -hmm. so uh, the capsaicin can be very good at helping reduce um, muscle spasms, um, nerve signal pain, and also helps soothe the body because it heats things up. So now that you've put that on there, now you can mm -hmm. go ahead and you can actually yep. manipulate. Yes, yes. So we do a lot of uh, soft tissue mobilizations. Uh, the joints we use a lot as well. So um, your back has a series of joints, and what we like to do is to work at loosening those up. So we'll spend like maybe like 15, 20 minutes loosening up joints. Oh. And also... Before uh, you even exercise. Before you even exercise. Oh, okay. So uh, what we'll do is we'll get on here and Kathy, for the people that know Kathy, 
Um, I wasn't going to tell them it was her. <laughs> we, um, we, we find trigger points as well in the body on knots. So we, we'll feel through the tissue, and Kathy has a knot right here. And uh, so we get on these knots, and we really work on it about trying to release them and, and making someone feel better so that um, hopefully they can move with less pain. And another of the techniques we like to use is um, myofascial decompression. We know it as in the physical therapy world, but in the rest of the world, we know it, they know it as cupping. Right. So that can be another great technique that can be very good at pain relief. And uh, like with the, if we find a good knot like we do right there, um, we're going to pop some cream on there and uh, uh, pop a suction cup on there. It can be very good at releasing uh, tight knots. So she has a knot right there, and I'm going to put a cup on here. And I won't do it too aggressively because some people are a little freaked out over this, but uh, it can be quite relieving, and uh, I'll release some of the pressure. And for the people initially, what we'll do is we'll slide along the, um, the fascial planes here to try and sort of release that tightness. So if someone comes into you and they are dealing with back pain mm -hmm. and the chronic back pain, mm -hmm. how do you know where to start? Um, that's a good question because um, one of the things that we talk about is that the pain isn't always where the problem is. Right. So if you understand referral patterns, like for example, this area right here, that we're talking about, um, this area, when this gets really sensitive, it actually refers pain down in through the buttocks. Right. Through here. Mm -hmm. So if someone comes in and tells us they have pain in the buttock, we're going to look at the, all the possible causes of that pain in the buttock. One of them being here, and typically what we'll do through our assessment, we'll have uh, the person move through certain ranges, which will give us a clue. And plus, we're going to hit all the possible areas that could possibly refer pain into there this being one. And a lot of times when I hit this area on someone and I'll ask them, where do you feel the pain? They'll tell me, I feel it in my butt. Wow. Um, so this is one possible area. And everything goes down. So sometimes, you've got all the way yeah, down to your feet. Sometimes things go up as well. Or so. up, right. <laughs> um, another possible area is in the low back. Um, another possible area is in the SI joint. So it comes from, um, you know, the, the thing I like to say, you know, I'm a trained professional. Yes, so. <laughs> absolutely. Don't try this at home. <laughs> so um, there, there's, uh, through the education, we kind of know where certain pains come from. So classically, if someone's feeling like tingling or numbness in their calves or foot, you know, we'll make sure that it's not coming from the back. It could be coming from the back. And that's, um, uh, that seems to be a lot of what people do, too. They, mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like self-medicating. Right. I have a pain here, right. so I go and I buy something for this area. Right. But actually, it's not that area. Right. It's right. another area. Right. So, but the, the, the thing with chronic pain is that your brain, when it receives a pain signal from an area, and I'm talking like uh, the, the classic example is someone with an amputation that has phantom limb pain. Exactly. Um, right. So when your brain receives a signal of pain from that area, even though there's no damage there, your brain will actually create a physical response by creating spasms for protection, by creating inflammation to try and heal the place, and by creating certain physical manifestations. So that's why I'm saying, you know, you say pain is in the brain. Right. Pain is, is it's not because you're crazy, but because your pain signal, your brain has a certain reaction to certain signals that it gets. So if I punch you in the arm, your brain's going to react a certain way. Right. Okay. So when it when it gets a signal that pain is coming from your calf, it's going to spasm that calf up because it's thinking, well, you have an injury to your calf. Let's stop you from moving. Okay. So um, it's a very realistic response. So even though the pain is coming from here, um, if you if Kathy has a pain in the calf, we will go down into that calf and manipulate that calf as well to try and soothe that pain signal coming from the brain. Wow. So. Um, that brain is a marvelous thing. It, it is a marvelous thing. It does, it does um, create some issues sometimes, though. So, um, the, uh, so we'll, we'll spend like 20, 30 minutes manipulating the area to try and get Kathy ready. And uh, a lot of times, one thing that can be very good is kinesiology taping as well. We tape a lot of people. And for the people that watch uh, professional sports, athletes, they have this all over their body. Yes. So um, I'll just tape Kathy's low back. It's nice and simple, and what this does is it can help the, the muscle not spasm as much, 
And it can also help uh, the muscle function better. So you can wear that while you're exercising. While she's exercising. And that will help as yep. well. Yep. And when we're talking about exercising and the different things that uh, Ting Oh has been showing us, we're going to talk some more about that. Again, today on uh, Wellness Through Physical Therapy, we are talking about opioids and other ways of dealing with chronic pain other than the opioids themselves. Don't go away. We'll be right back. This is what it can feel like when you outgrow your internet speed. Chances are you have more internet connected devices in your home than you did a year ago. Switch to Service Electric Cablevision Internet for the right fit for all your devices. SECV delivers the speed and reliability you need with no contract required. Call 877-955-SECV or visit secv.com slash internet. If you haven't found the perfect fishing getaway, you haven't been to Captain's Cove. Located on Henderson Harbor in upstate New York, Captain's Cove offers a variety of accommodations to please just about anyone. The motel, also located on the harbor, offers a magnificent view. Enjoy free morning coffee, air-conditioned rooms, cable TV, and HBO. The cottage can accommodate up to eight people with three bedrooms, a complete kitchen, washer-dryer, two full baths, air conditioning, an outside grill, and picnic table. Call us today for rates and information at 1-800-824-FISH. For four generations, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has been treating their customers like family. Stop in to get the lowest financing options and best service around. Whether you're in need of a Ram pickup with a snow dog plow, or have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Tamaqua has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. Stop in now and take advantage of their Start Something New event. Today, Ting Oh has been telling us about opioids and ways in order to deal with chronic pain where you don't have to use the opioids on wellness through physical therapy. And one of the things we didn't get to really touch on was the exercises themselves. Right, right. So what exactly would they be? Kind of a wrap up yeah. on those. So exercises are, uh, the, the thing you want to try and do with pain is uh, no pain, no gain does not apply. So we don't want to push people to the point where they're hurting a lot. Right. So the, the concept we use is called graded. You want to grade the exercise. Um, so initially all it may take is someone walking on a treadmill for two or three minutes. Minutes? So, minutes. Um, so oh. what we want to do is we want them to exercise below their threshold of pain so that we're not reinforcing pain signals. So, um, But what we want to do is initially try and um, get someone to a comfortable level what they can manage and then let's say over time over a period of weeks or months that two or three minutes hopefully will increase and then we'll slowly increase that exercise level to the point where they can do what would be a normal exercise program without getting themselves in pain, which hopefully will carry over to their daily life. Probably one of the things that people have to remember is it took you a long time to get into this, right? so it takes a long time to get out of it as well. Right, right. And we're very glad that you have all of these wonderful different things that people mm -hmm. can try rather than those opioids. Yeah, the, um, the, just understand that opioids are very addictive. Yes. Uh, there, there's around about 20% of people that take opioids long term have problems with addictions. Right. And, uh, it's very yeah, scary. And, and people are dying. Um, they don't, you know, regular people are getting addicted to opioids. So there are alternatives. Um, most the CDC recommendations is that you shouldn't take opioids for more than seven days unless the benefits outweigh the possible side effects. Well, hopefully people are going to get to that point and mm -hmm. come and see you mm -hmm. at Physical Therapy and Balance Centers here in the Churchill Mall in Hazleton. I'm Paula Degnan with Ting O. We'll see you again on Wellness Through Physical Therapy. Watch Off the Beaten Path on WYLN TV 35 and discover the 